Hi everyone, welcome back to Coming Cool Water Creature World. Remember to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell. Hello arowana keepers. There is a very common problem which most of the arowana keepers are facing or faced before. That is the drop eye of the beautiful arowana. Are you having this problem now? Drop eye of a beautiful arowana is the most painful problem which I had before when I got my first golden arowana. I still remember my fish was so beautiful with great color, nice body shape, beautiful fin and tail. However, the only regret was its drop eye. When I kept my second arowana, I encountered the same problem too. Fortunately, I found the solution to cure it and it recovered now. I feel that I should share my experience with you all and hopefully you can save the eye of your arowana too. Okay friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you my experience about how I cure my arowana's drop eyes without surgery or any medication and how to prevent your arowana from suffering from drop eyes. Please watch until the end of the video in order not to miss any important points because all of the points are linked to each other. If you miss any one of them, you might not be able to prevent the drop eyes from your arowana successfully. This is my current arowana. When I bought it back two years ago, it was just less than one week one of its eyes has suffered from drop eye. It was just one week, you know. That was totally a nightmare for me. In fact, this happened to my first golden arowana too. After my arowana suffered from drop eye, I immediately consulted the fish seller. The fish seller gave me a few solutions to cure the drop eyes or prevent from drop eyes, but all of the solutions are useless. Some of those solutions you might have heard before, like wrapping the whole tank to prevent the fish from looking at anything out of the tank so that the drop eye will recover. After hearing this, I was so excited that they gave me a great solution which seems reasonable. I quickly wrapped my fish tank with some paper and started to monitor the status of my fish. After wrapping my fish tank, I saw my fish eyes was maintained but it did not recover to be the original status. After monitoring a month, I realized that using this way is just to stop the drop eye from worsening. This method could not cure the drop eye. I started to ask myself, if I leave my fish tank wrapped forever, what would be the meaning of keeping a fish tank in my house? just to enjoy watching the paper on the fish tank? Come on fish seller, we buy fish to enjoy watching them swimming and eating, right? Eventually, I found that this solution was totally not practical and not really useful at all. Another method they suggested to me was to put some floating balls with shining colors in the tank to attract the fish to keep looking at the balls so as to prevent from drop eyes. I can seriously tell you that this method is totally useless. The fish will only be curious for one to two days to see the balls. After that, it does not even care about the balls. The fish only cares about its food. Some people may even tell you not to put your tank too high or reduce the water level so that the fish won't look at something lower. If you put your tank on the floor or slightly above the floor, what's the meaning of keeping a fish tank? If you would like to do that, I think fish pond is a better choice for you, right? If you reduce the water level of your fish tank, can you imagine how painful or how uneasy your fish is? Okay friends, let me share with you 3 simple methods to solve drop eyes problem of your arowana easily. 
This is my arowana when it got the drop eye. Look at its slight drop eye on its right hand side. Whenever it looked at me, the drop eye became more obvious. Now, look at its current status. I would say that it has already recovered more than 95%. How did I cure it? Method number one. Before I explain the method, let me tell you what has caused the drop eye of your arowana first. One of the problem is that you have a one directional flow in your fish tank. What is that? Some people are using pump with blower. If the blower blows at one direction only, the arowana will tend to stream towards one direction only. If arowana streams towards only one direction, one of its eyes will keep seeing things outside the tank. The muscle of the particular eye will be overused and results in drop eye. In order to solve this problem, you can set your water flow top down or use bubble instead. When you notice that your fish only swim towards one direction only, you should adjust the water flow status of your fish tank to ensure that the fish swims to different directions. As long as it can swim to different directions, both eyes will be able to share loads and hence none of them will be overused. Method number two. Do you have an experience that your fish only stays at the upper part of your fish tank and doesn't swim to the lower part of your tank? If this scenario happened to you, your fish will be highly getting drop eye. Okay, let's imagine. If the fish only floats at the higher level of the tank, it will definitely keep looking at things or fishes or food at the bottom of your tank. As such, this will become its habit to look at the stuff which is at the lower position. After a certain time, it will suffer from drop eye. Why does this happen? If you notice that your fish seldom swims down, this is because it feels stretched to swim down. The pressure of water at the lower level is slightly higher than the pressure on top. This is the basic physics and a common knowledge. It is like when you are swimming, it is more difficult for you to dive into deeper level. Now, how to solve this problem? Simple, put some sea salt into your water. You can easily buy those sea salt from fish shop. Actually, there are two benefits of sea salt. First benefit, sea salt is able to reduce the stress of the water so that the fish is likely to swim lower. Second benefit is that if your fish has some injury, salt can help speeding up its recovery. Method number three. Okay, friends. This is the most important point. Listen carefully. What is the most important thing for a fish? Yes, you are right. It's food. The most interesting stuff for a fish is definitely its food. Whatever colorful balls or shining stuff will not bring attention to the fish rather than their favorite food. I suggest you to keep a habit to feed your fish from the top of the tank. What I mean is that when you feed your fish, try not to show the food in front of the tank like this. When you feed them, don't look at them in front of the tank. It is better for you to climb up and feed the food from top. If you keep this habit of feeding, Every time when your fish senses that you are feeding it, it will look up and wait for the food. Once the fish is used to get its food from top, it will always look up at the surface of the water to wait for its delicious food and seldom look at other stuff below it. 
This is exactly same as the scenario like you keep arowana in the fish pond and also explain that why arowana in the fish pond will never get drop eye. Before I found out this method, I almost gave up to save my fish eyes. Until a day, one of my friends shared this method with me and I tried to practice it. Two months later, I noticed that the drop eye of my fish become better and its eyes recover more than 95%. Look at it, it is almost like no drop eyes before. Friends, these three methods which I share with you are the methods I use to cure my arowana's drop eye successfully. Therefore, if you encounter this problem, please take action to practice my methods immediately. Hopefully, you still have a chance to cure your fish now. The longer you wait, the lesser the chance you have to cure your fish. I have come to the end of my video. I hope my method can help you save your fish eyes. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you again. Bye bye.